Tonight, remembering Mario Cuomo, New York's 52nd governor. One of the simple things I wanted to achieve is I want to be governor. I want to be the hardest working there ever was. He was an outstanding human being, a, a, an intellect uh, that was just superior to most people. And the need for a nuclear freeze, if only to affirm the simple truth that peace is better than war because life is better than death. An orator who rose to national stardom. His focus on Buffalo and Western New York, it, it really using Buffalo and Western New York is uh, a metaphor for what was going on in the entire nation at the time. Maybe if you went to Lackawanna where thousands of unemployed steel workers wonder why we subsidize foreign steel. Governor Mario Cuomo, dead at age 82. Buffalo, New York State, and the nation mourning the loss of former Governor Mario Cuomo tonight. The 52nd New York State Governor has died at the age of 82. The Cuomo family released this statement tonight saying in part, quote, the governor passed away from natural causes due to heart failure this evening with his loving family at his side. Tonight, many people remember the impact Governor Mario Cuomo had statewide, including here in western New York. He was instrumental in some of the things we still enjoy today, decades after his leadership, a smart, dedicated man who quickly rose to national fame. New York Governor Mario Cuomo burst onto the national political stage with his keynote address at the 1984 Democratic National Convention. And we proclaim as loudly as we can the utter insanity of nuclear proliferation and the need for a nuclear freeze, if only to affirm the simple truth that peace is better than war because life is better than death. It was so powerful, so well delivered, that it rocketed Cuomo to instant political fame. And it was in this speech that the governor referenced Western New York, using the city of Lackawanna as an example of economic struggles parts of the country were facing. Maybe if you went to Lackawanna where thousands of unemployed steel workers wonder why we subsidize foreign steel. His political appearance even led some party faithful to wonder whether Cuomo wanted to be president himself. Ultimately, Cuomo chose not to run for the office. It has nothing to do with my chances. It has everything to do with my job as governor, and I don't see that I can do both. Therefore, I will not pursue the presidency. Mario Matthew Cuomo was born in New York City in 1932 in the apartment above his father's grocery store. After a brief shot at a minor league baseball career, Cuomo pursued a law degree, graduating top of his class from St. John's University. The allure of public service was strong, but early attempts at seeking political office ended in defeat. His first electoral success came in 1978 as running mate to Governor Hugh Carey. Four years later, Carey stepped aside. Cuomo then entered the race for governor and won. It's a position he held for 12 years, winning two more terms easily by emphasizing lower taxes, balanced budgets, public education, and affirmative action. The governor's love for the great American pastime brought him to Buffalo, where he threw out the first pitch at Pilot Field. After he helped secure funding for the Bison's new home back in 1988. When it was on its hard, in its hard days some years ago, people ruled Buffalo out. And this state looked to Western New York and said, if there's a place in this country that can come back, it's Buffalo. And you have. In 1993, he passed up the chance to be appointed to the Supreme Court, choosing instead to run for a fourth term as governor. But Cuomo lost that race to a newcomer, Republican George Pataki. He later said after 12 years, voters were just ready for a change. The constants in his life were faith and family. Cuomo was Catholic and married for over six decades to the love of his life, Matilda. The couple raised five children, including CNN anchor Chris Cuomo and Andrew Cuomo, who followed in his father's footsteps all the way to the governor's mansion. In later years, Cuomo hosted a radio show, returned to the private sector, both as an attorney and author, and continued to speak out for the party he loved and the causes he held close to his heart. Asked once how he wanted to be remembered, one of the simple things I wanted to achieve is I want to be governor, I want to be the hardest working there ever was. And I want when it's over, and I figured on four years at first, I want people to say now there was an honest person. The former governor also leaves behind 14 grandchildren. Funeral arrangements have not yet been announced.